Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavind Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will run our cucumber test with the help of Maven commands. So there are two ways to do it. One with the help of IDE, which is Eclipse in our case. And second one is command prompt. So let us do it. So this is my cucumber project wherein I have created the feature file feature file with the tags so i'm going to use these feature file this uh, these feature files for my demonstration and i'm going to use this uh, test runner so that is for the cucumber test runner for the tags so you can see like i'm targeting the tags with a smoke and a regression but not in the performance perf okay so i'll be targeting this feature file feature with tags you can see feature with tags okay so these are those feature file okay so i have just uh, mentioned the gherkin syntax nothing else so that it will be easier for you to understand and uh, this is going to be my test runner and this is going to be my this for the background and yeah okay so a step definition is nothing but the step whatever is written over here but since i am not targeting anything and nothing is written over here so it will not go to that step definition it is not required okay so let me run it and see how it can be executed okay so first i will run this uh, test runner and see how this program gets executed then i will run the whole project the same program with the help of maven okay so you can see uh, there are two tests passed and let us see what are those so if you note down scenario 2 from test feature scenario 2 from test 1 feature test 1 feature and scenario 3 from test feature okay so these two tests are passed okay so these two tests are passed all right so scenario 3 from test uh, 3 scenario 2 from test 1 feature right so let me copy this somewhere to the notepad and then we will see that here i will close it and um, all right so yeah this is when we are executing the kukuma test runner class all alone okay so similarly i should see when i run the with the help of maven so if you have if you have followed my uh, previous video you will uh, get to know okay after adding all those dependencies and creating the maven project you will see uh, these commands on the uh, in context right menu okay so when you click on run as you will see these maven commands okay so we will first do the uh, maven clean it will clear all those uh, folders uh, for us and then we will run okay we will actually go ahead and do the maven test you have to right click on the project right click and run edge and uh, you have to select maven test okay so you can see these two tests whatever we have seen as a standalone test are actually executed so let me copy this again here okay maven test okay individual like a standalone stand alone a test runner file when we executed right kokuma test runner so which uh, targeted on the feature file from the specified uh, folder and the step definition of course yeah so scenario 3 from test 3 and this is second so basically it should all match okay execution what are whatever we are targeting scenario 2 from test 1 so you can see it, uh, scenario 3 from test 3 feature and scenario 2 from test 1 feature okay got executed all right so this is the time taken uh, and uh, let us now so you know right how to run it 
okay so all you have to now make sure that this particular you know a pom xml of your uh, project should have this a couple of uh, plugins installed and let me show you that pom.xml so it may not work you will not be able to see the test uh, result like this and uh, rather it will only show you the build success but it will not show you the test result like this until you add maven surefire plugin okay so this is how you can do it let me maximize it and this is what i did so you can go to the maven repository mvn repository and you can uh, download the maven compiler and maven surefire plugin all right so here uh, right after adding all those uh, dependencies selenium test ng um, uh, surefire everything right so just coming to the build maven build you have to add these tags build then plugins plugin inside plugins we have to add plugin and inside plugin we have to give this surefire plugin and we have to include all the java when we are including all this in java so it is it is actually targeting the test runner uh, class in our case okay so this has executed our our uh, test run uh, test runner class okay so here everything is done now i can do the same thing uh, if i have to enable this other one other test runner so let me see that yeah you can see these uh, so i have enabled this let me comment this out so control all i will hold control shift and forward slash it will comment everything and similarly i will comment it out by uh, selecting all control shift and the backslash and i will run it as maven test again so you can see one more time i will go to the i have just right click in context right click i will go to the run as and i will go to idly you can do maven clean and then maven test i'll just do maven test and see so this particular you know cucumber feature file is supposed to uh, launch the browser okay which eventually is not executing there might be something wrong with the rt factory so let me just speak um uh, let me just see this everything is all fine step definition and uh, feature file okay all seems to be good and then i will just right click run as i will clean it first and then i will run it so it is looks like uh, there is something wrong with it but uh, yeah did i save it or not so it is targeting oh okay so there is no tag there is uh, nothing with a tag called a smoke so it is it is not executing so i will just keep it blank okay in this um, runner file i have mentioned the tag is equal to smoke which is why it was not running okay so let me just run it again and uh, i'll go to the run as and uh, then i'll run it so you can see it is launching the browser entering the username and password and we have seen our test are getting passed though this error is there so you can just uh, uh, follow my other video to um, uh, fix this web socket error that is harmful here so we have executed all our test 
okay and uh, this piece of file got executed with the when we run this uh, particular you know uh, uh, test runner file cucumber test runner java it is targeting this particular you know, feature file which eventually you know uh, have all the method definition is inside step definition inside this particular uh, you know file all method got executed okay and you can go to the target and see the uh, output also whatever is there over here okay so uh, html report dot html so this is that you can open that and uh, see that uh, if particular you know test is passed or not you can see one minute ago these particular you know tests are executed fine okay so i'll close it now uh, let me let me just comment this particular you know feature file again and let me just uncomment because i want the test uh, to be executed uh, the test which has the tag which i mean which we have tagged right i want to execute those tests okay so i will be using this smoke test because i have kept the uh, output of this okay okay so we have already executed let me just run it and see so he here you can see everything is uh, fine now okay one test has been executed there is no failure nothing as such okay and this was the test when we executed this particular you know test runner now we are concentrating on this uh, test runner for the tags okay so the concomer option you can see these are the tags and the feature file we are uh, basically interested in these feature file okay because this feature file we have tagged with the these scenarios with a proper tag scenarios are tagged with the proper tag smoke and regression and perf okay smoke and regression scenario 2 from test 1 uh, test 1 feature okay similarly like this and here also we have tagged right so now uh, we have to execute let us execute it again and then we will move on to the command prompt of uh, maven home and command prompt execution of these test cases okay how to execute these test cases from the command prompt we'll know so you can see the tests are matching the result is matching right this is the same result which we have executed scenario 3 from this is scenario particularly and the past one is scenario 3 from test 3 feature scenario 3 from the test 3 feature scenario 2 from the test 1 feature okay so this is uh, what we get in the output in the console basically now now if you have to run it from the uh, console i mean command prompt you can go to the project where the pom is visible okay so let us go to this pom i mean this project uh, home basically and quickly check if the pom is if the maven is installed or not so i will go to the cmd or i can open it from here only okay and quickly see if mvn is installed or not yeah you can see it is installed okay and we can let us check if it shows the version as well or not yeah you can see the version also of mvn so 3.9.5 is installed and this is the maven home which we have set we have installed we have installed we have actually executed i mean like uh, you can simply go to the uh, google and search for maven download for windows okay go to the site and get the zip folder so this we have uh, this you can download and you can set this you can put it in somewhere here I have put it in here and you can set the maven home like this i'm gonna show you the system environment variable for the maven okay so this is how you can set the maven home and set the maven path here okay till bin you can set it i'll cancel because i have already done and i have already already, already told you like how to do it so once the maven is set you can go to the project uh, home where your project and your particular file is pom.xml is visible so this is that workspace 
and the POM is visible here. So I'm here, VDD framework. From here, uh, you can run your project using MVN. Clean command, I can clean the project directories. Okay, so build is successful. You can see the target folder is cleaned. And now what I can do, I can run the test with the help of MVN test. Okay, so when we pass this test to MVN, it is going to execute all those tests. So it is going to execute my test runner class. Okay, the way it has executed. So you can see the two tests are passed. Okay, so I'm going to take the result out here. You can see two tests are passed. This is the result from command prompt CMD. Okay, scenario two from test one, test one and three from test three feature. Just for parity, I'm just taking the output here. So everything is same, right? So this is how you can do it. And now if you want to override like uh, the tag, because there are so many tags, right? And we are using as per our current uh, test runner file, we are actually concentrating on the tags like this. So we are targeting the to execute the feature file, uh, which are tagged with smoke and regression, but not in the perform. Okay, so let us now override this particular you know, setting from the command prompt. So I will be focusing on the uh, smoke test. Okay, the test which are tagged with the smoke only. So this time result will be different. Maybe we can see this scenario two from test two feature this time. Smoke, this is nowhere smoke. And do we have smoke only? So it looks like only one test case should get executed. Let us see. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, how to override that particular, you know, uh, a tag. So for that, we can give MVN test and we can also pass the tag in the as a param. Okay. So how, how you will do it? Cucumber. So D cucumber. When we are passing uh, parameter to the cucumber uh, test, we are using this minus D and then we use filter, then tags. Okay. And we can give double quote and at the rate, whatever test you want to execute. So let us see if it is working or not. So it is going to target the feature file or the test which are tagged with smoke. Okay. So you can see it is targeting scenario one from test one feature because it may have uh, the smoke. I mean the feature file tagged with the smoke. Yeah, it is tagged with smoke two and uh, two uh, test will be scenario will be executed from uh, test one. And there is one more from uh, feature file. I mean test two feature and there is another one is from feature. I mean test three dot feature. Okay, so that is why I uh, mean uh, Maven is executing for project. Okay, so that is how you can play with. Uh, that is how you can you know execute your Cucumber test with the Maven commands from the Eclipse and as well as uh, from the command prompt. So that's it from this video. I hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And also hit the bell icon for more updates on this channel. And also share the feedback in comment section. I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and thanks for watching.